If you wanna be a full-time content creator in 2023, you need to be doing one of two things. Either consistently landing monthly retainers or building a personal brand online. Because the reality is taking one-off projects is fun, but it's not sustainable if you wanna make this a full-time thing. So in this week's video, I'm gonna share with you what a personal brand is, how to get into the social media space, and what to post as a content creator. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So this week we're gonna be talking about personal branding and I'm super excited to talk about it because obviously I have a personal brand. I have a YouTube channel where I educate people how to get into content created in space. I feel like it's super important to show up on social media if you have a business like content creation so then you can get more eyes on your work and you're open to more opportunities. And I've noticed that the more I post on my YouTube channel, the more that I'm active on my Instagram and just providing value to people about this space, I'm getting so many more inbound requests from brands and just overall new opportunities that I haven't even thought of coming my way. So today we're going to be talking about what a personal brand is and how to get started. Okay, so first off, what is a personal brand? There's a lot of definitions that people share, but here's my perception on what a personal brand is. It's sharing your personality, your mission, and your value to build a relationship with an audience. Now this can be shown up in many different ways, from just being authentic in your content, to sharing something that you're passionate about or that you like, or educating people about your core values, or it can even be as simple as having like a certain background or appearance. Think of one of your favorite influencers and think of the things that are associated with that influencer. So for me, for an example, I am a huge fan of coffee and I post coffee all the time on my Instagram stories. Everyone that follows me knows I love coffee, so I feel like coffee is very on brand for me. Also, content creation is another spark word for me. There's a lot of people that follow me that know me for my content creation value. So just simple things like that. It doesn't have to be so elaborate. It could just be something as small as having a coffee or my pink chair is so on brand for me. Hopefully you guys get the picture and I'm kind of giving some surface level like examples. Those are little elements that build into your personal brand. Okay, so why should I build a personal brand if I can just be a complete ghost on the internet and be a successful content creator. Now that's very true. I'm not trying to say that in order to be a successful content creator, you have to have followers. But if you're not landing consistent monthly retainers, I feel like showing up on social media and getting multiple inbounds a month is going to be a good building block to being a full-time creator, if that makes sense. I'm coming from a perspective of sharing value on social media and showing your work on social media to get brands to notice you because you might be posting a video and it might have a few hundred views but you don't know who is watching because there are brand executives there are influencer marketers there are influencers with crazy connections that might be seeing your videos and if they didn't see your videos you probably wouldn't get the connections or the inbounds or the opportunities that you have now if it weren't for that video legitimately how do you build a personal brand? Showing up on social media, whether that's Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, pick one platform that you're well versed at and you feel like you can make the most content on consistently. So for YouTube, you can make videos one to two weeks at the very minimum. TikTok, maybe once a day. Instagram, showing up on stories every day, but on reels a few times a week. So find a platform that you're well-versed in and create a schedule from that. And for content ideas, look at other content creators and use that as inspiration. So for example, you could be doing a day in my life as a content creator. You could share behind the scenes of a UGC project you're in. You could be answering frequently asked questions. You could be sharing what you've received in a week as a content creator, and then try to find a way to provide value in that. So for example, I've seen many videos of unboxing videos where they're showing where they got the opportunity from, who they contacted, the deliverables, how much the project costs. It's a small content idea that you can bounce from, but definitely look at other content creators. There are so many amazing, successful content creators on TikTok talk on, on Instagram that are constantly sharing value. So I highly recommend looking at those and just using their content as inspiration, not necessarily copying them, but as inspiration of like what kind of content you should curate. Okay, so find a platform, find content ideas, provide value, 
now hit post. Right, so let's just say a few months down the line, you've gotten a lot more inbounds because you're posting on social media, you're creating authentic relationships with creators and brands, and now you're starting to gain a little bit of a following from it. Now this is the part where you start to scale up your brand. And this is funny because this is the stage that I'm currently in right now. I've gained quite the following on YouTube by sharing these types of videos, and I've gotten people reaching out to me wanting a course or a coach or to someone to guide them through this process more in depth. So this is a perfect opportunity to start monetizing my audience and scaling up my brand by creating some ways that I can make passive income. This portion of the video is sponsored by Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is an easy to use site where your fans can support you through monthly memberships, purchasing digital products, and simply leaving a tip. I love that Buy Me A Coffee is specifically designed for creators and you can fully customize your page to make it a more personalized experience for your fans. For example, you can replace your tippy name to anything you like. Of course, coffee is more on brand for me, but you can change it to anything that your fans know you for. Here's what my page currently looks like. I'm actually going to launch digital products on here in the near future, so stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm soft launching my one-on-one -on -one coaching service for viewers ready to kick off their content creation journeys. If you're a creative looking to sell digital products, this is a perfect way for your fans to easily purchase your product and have it downloaded immediately. Buy Me A Coffee also allows you to set up a membership feature for your biggest fans. Customize your pricing and tiers to offer exclusive posts and messages, discounted extras, and even shout outs. If you are a streamer, you can seamlessly integrate your Buy Me A Coffee page onto your live stream where your fans can tip you. And those are only a few of the features that Buy Me A Coffee has to offer. I'm super excited to be partnering with Buy Me A Coffee to be launching my digital products and my coaching services in the future and to create a newsletter for my supporters to share exclusive content creation tips. If you're interested in creating your own page, click on the first link in the description box below to sign up. And if you're looking to support the channel, click on the second link below to check out my page. Thank you again to Buy Me A Coffee for sponsoring this portion and let's get back into the video. Okay, so one of the last things I wanna talk about is imposter syndrome. This is one of the biggest things I've had to deal with as a content creator because I'm so in the content creation world. I follow people that are creators and it can be so easy to compare myself to them because they have way more followers on TikTok and they're posting way more consistently on there versus just me where I'm posting pretty much exclusively on YouTube and I feel like I'm one of the only consistent people on YouTube where everyone else is on TikTok sharing short form content. I could feel like my value isn't really valuable enough because people can just go on TikTok and learn about it. However, remembering that people have started content creation through my videos or certain aspects of it made sense because of these in-depth videos. It truly means so much, but I wanted to give a little bit of encouragement about it, especially for people who are just getting started because it can be so easy to compare yourself on social media and to feel like, you know, you might not be as much of an expert in this as other people are. And I'm not saying you have to be an expert. I feel like I'm in no way an expert and I have so much room to grow in. So instead of coming out as an expert in content creation, I'm just personally sharing my experiences. I can build that connection with the new creator and anything new that I know, I make a video about it and I share it. Like personal branding, it took me a long time to figure out what personal branding meant to me, but I realized over time, you know, I've built this personal brand myself. I've shown up on social media in different ways, and I feel like there are certain aspects of the things that I post that make me me, like coffee and consecration. <laughs> so as I'm making these videos, I'm constantly learning new things. So that's, that's the mindset that I have instead of coming out and being like, I'm such an expert in this. I know everything because I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> so with that, I hope this inspires you to start building a personal brand on social media, this is your sign to hit post because you never know where the opportunities are going to take you. I never knew that a year ago I would be where I am now and all of the opportunities and all of the connections I've made, I never knew that was gonna be possible because I simply posted videos on YouTube. It's it's literally insane, but I'm, I'm so grateful for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye.